take a look at the inside of Cecil, shall we? He's a little on the dusty side. He's a bit of a dusty boy, shall we say? So, this is Cecil. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, this is Cecil minus a video card, I should say, because video card is currently in the eGPU. So, so what I'm zooming in now, or zooming in on now, uh, sorry, I need to adjust tripod a little bit. There we go. This is the heat sink and fan for Cecil. I'm actually missing the fan in the middle. That's intentional. Um, I had it out so I can actually remove and re-add the video card because I'm moving things around quite a bit. So that is underneath that heat sink and fan, which I'm not going to take apart right now. I, I guess I could. Nah, not at the moment. Um, underneath that heat sink and fan is a Core i7 4790K. Uh, it's very mildly overclocked. It's overclocked by something like 10%. I'm not even increasing voltage, so it's effectively just a free overclock. Uh, let's see. Underneath, you probably can't see it very well, can you? Um, yeah, you can barely see it because of the heat sink and fan sitting there. Maybe I should remove it. That way you can actually see what's going on. <sighs> Probably gonna need to take apart the computer anyway, so might as well. See, I'm back here. Apologies for leaning. I don't think I can do this without blocking camera. You know what? Let's switch to an overhead, shall we? There we go. See, I'm right here. Camera, there we go. I'm actually recording the audio live. May end up redubbing over, who knows. Let's go ahead and remove the heat sink and the fans. So I can show you what the underside of Cecil looks like. So the, this heat sink is a Noctua D15. It's, it's a chunky boy. Um, this actually, the heat sink and fan is so massive that I actually don't need the fans running. I found that one out the hard way. I mean, it's running really hot at that point, but it actually runs without the fans. As long as I'm not doing anything super heavy on it. Okay. There we go. And let's unplug that. And yeah. That is what the underside looks like. Uh, let me make sure I have my laptop in view. I moved it and then forgot to move it around again. Unfortunately, you're probably hearing a bit of a hum. So uh, let me zoom in a bit. That right there, ooh, kind of dark. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, I can do that. There, that's a little bit brighter at least. <coughs> so this is the RAM. I have four eight gigabyte sticks of DDR3. Uh, right here, this is the SSD. You can read this, this is a Samsung 960 Pro. Um, that's the NVMe SSD. This is actually one of the earliest motherboards that actually had NVMe support. Unfortunately, it's a little wonky on the support, but, you know, it works. Uh, let's see, other parts I wanted to cover. Loosen this up and point it further down. No. Can you even see that at all? Oh, hold on, I need to crank up the ISO, I think. Wrong thing. I'm doing this upside down, so apologies. There, let's crank up the ISO a bit. That's a little bit brighter. Um, so you can sort of see down here, this is where the um, SATA things go, but let me move some things out of the way. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. There's this longer port here. This is actually SATA Express, a very old standard at this point. Um, 
people weren't sure whether it would end up being SATA Express or M.2 that would end up succeeding. So this motherboard actually has both, which is really nice. Uh, you can start seeing, let me turn it a little bit. So this is my power supply. It's a 650P2, which is a 650 watt, 80 plus platinum power supply. Yeah, it's on set to autofocus right now, which is probably not the greatest. Ah, there. It'll end up drifting again. Oh well. Um, let's see. Let me move things around. What else to show off? Oh, um, drives down here. You can't see all of them, but there's actually three SSDs sitting here. Three more SSDs, I should say. This is one of them. This is a Samsung 860 Evo or 850 Evo. 860 Evo. That's a one terabyte Samsung 860 Evo. Uh, it's just hanging around um, when I actually have the case upright. Gravity pushes it down where it's not in the way. Um, this drive right here, this is my Corsair, or sorry, Crucial. Uh, it's MX100. This is a half terabyte SSD. This is actually what I use for my scratch disk for recordings like this. Obviously, I'm not doing that right now, given that, well, the computer's here, here, and not up there. Ooh, focus? Nope, not focusing. Okay. And then the last drive, which is actually screwed in. Let's see if I can take it out. I don't know if I have that much slack. And you can sort of see it right here. Um, this is a one terabyte Toshiba SSD. Um, Toshiba bought OCZ. OCZ used to be one of the larger manufacturers of SSDs. Anyway, um, oh, forgot to mention, let me Zoom out a little bit and just back sort of the way things were. That'll work. Um, people may not notice this because of the weird viewing angle, but this is a smaller than usual motherboard. This is actually a micro ATX motherboard. I personally, I really like the micro, micro ATX form factor. Problem is that pretty much nothing modern is using it anymore. They either go with full size ATX, which would be down to about here or so, or can't see but basically down to the bottom of the case or they'll use mini ITX which would end about here and only go out to about here um, I actually really like mini ITX the problem is that I'm a RAM hog and I need all the RAM I can get so my minimum number of slots for RAM on a motherboard is four so you can tell this machine has them maxed so I can have the full 32 gig of RAM and I do actually use that much RAM um, I'm running this off of my laptop right now and my first take of this actually messed up like crazy because I ran out of RAM. And my laptop has 16 gig of RAM. So just, an, and I had actually closed my web browsers even, just to give you an idea as to how much RAM I eat up. Um, this power supply is modular. So each of these cables can be detached from either, it's fully modular, I should say, either from the power supply side or from the motherboard and or other component side. Um, what else do I have? Oh, um, up here you can't see it, but you can see some, well, the bunch of cables that you see coming up here is actually just where I'm hiding some cables, uh, cable slack at. But below that, right here, I'm actually touching it, but you can't see it from your angle. That's an optical drive. Um, I actually have a Blu-ray drive, and I use it for ripping Blu-rays. That's really about it. I don't really use optical drives for anything else. Uh, yeah, that's really about it other than the video card, which you'll see the video card in another video when I review my eGPU, or sometimes known as a magic box. I just wanted to cover this because Cecil's dying. I didn't mention that at the start. Darn it, me. Uh, maybe I'll have an opening thing. Um, Cecil's dying. I'm not entirely sure what's wrong. It's, I've narrowed it down to one of three things. It's either the power supply, the motherboard, or the CPU. If it's a motherboard or CPU, Cecil's probably going to be dead. Um, it's not going to be easy for me to replace either one of those, especially trying to find a motherboard that also has NVMe storage. That's basically impossible. Um, what I plan on doing is I, w I will figure out what's actually wrong with Cecil and replace whichever part is actually broken, but I'm going to be doing that after I build myself a new computer because uh, I've been without a desktop now for almost two months. 
it's rough for me because I'm such a ram hog and I like gaming and so on. It's part of the reason why I haven't really done any heavy videos is because I'm editing videos on my Ultrabook laptop and that's not the greatest thing. Maybe I'll end up switching to my other laptop for video editing. That might actually be faster. Um, so yeah, I'm actually building a new machine. I'm hope, hopefully buying the parts this Sunday. Today is July 4th, which is uh, Tuesday for, or Thursday for reference. So this is probably going up the same day. I don't think there's going to be much in the way of video editing on this video. Um, let's see. What else do I have on this? Oh, um, you can s see it up here. There's actually um, sound dampening foam up here. Although this one's actually come out of its screws now that I'm looking. Um, the reason for the sound dampening foam is that this is a very quiet machine. You have not heard this machine while I've been gaming, and it's not just because the um, tower is usually underneath my desk, it's also because um, when I replaced the video card on here, I used to have a GTX 970, now it has a 1080 Ti, well, at the moment it has nothing, but um, when I replaced it with the 1080 Ti, I started hearing coil whine. Coil whine is this high-pitched noise that you can hear from power supplies. And the reason why I was hearing coil whine is that it was always present, I just didn't hear it before because I had other noises in the way. That's how quiet this machine is. You'll notice, I mean, the loudest component of this machine is actually the optical drive, which, since it's not running most of the time, is completely silent. I have no hard drives in this machine, hence the four SSDs in here. And yes, I know that's overkill. Um, I have a very, very high-end power supply in here. I'm planning on replacing it with a power supply that will, um, what should we call it, um, that will spin down completely when under lower loads, because most of the time I'm not putting that much load on my power supply. Uh, my video card's actually very quiet, and my giant heat sink and fan. I don't know if you can appreciate just how huge this is. Look at how big it is when I just set it in the case like this. Um, this allows the fan that's here to actually spin very slowly. There we go. This doesn't spin very fast, and it keeps temperatures very cool. Uh, even though I don't have the middle fan in right now, um, temperatures are only about 5 to 10 Celsius above ambient temperature, which is pretty great in my mind. Okay, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to cover a few extra things. Uh, sorry I'm not really in this video much. Hi. Um, and there's no kitties in this video because I wanted to make sure you soon didn't jump into the computer case. It is a box after all. See you, Internet. Talk to you next time.